Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes to us from Matt, KE8SNO, and uh, he is getting a QRP radio that will transmit on six meters. Now, there is some CW on six meters. Most QRP radios are CW, but if it's a VHF, or I'm sorry, a sideband radio, or if it does FT8, now FT8 would be the best of all worlds because there is FT8 activity on six meters. Now, he's asking, he says he has a fan dipole and he wants to modify it for six meters. So a fan dipole, let's just make a 41 here. This is the center point right here. Okay, so this length from here to here is one half wavelength at 40 meters, which is um, 66 feet. Now he can make a 20 meter antenna by just connecting a wire there to there and a wire there to there. And this distance here is 33 feet. And you can similarly put other bands on this. Now, if you want to do a six meter antenna, the, um, you can actually make them go up like that. Or if you're looking from the top, you can have them go out to the side, whatever you want. Lots of things that you can do. A six meter antenna is three meters, meters, not feet, long, which is about 10 feet total. 10 feet. Okay, can you add that to your diaper, to your antenna? Absolutely, you can. Of course. Now, his problem is that leaves one end dangling. He doesn't have anything to connect it to. Well, that's what rope is for. So, you could have your antenna here in your little six meter portion here and just put some rope out here. Uh, it'd be nice to use UV resistant and um, a source that I use for that is, let's see, is it RF parts? Let me check. Okay, for rope, go to dxengineering.com and uh, look up for antenna rope and there will be UV uh, resistant rope there. Mastrand is a little more expensive brand. You can get other parts uh, from uh, other places. So you want some UV resistant rope to hold that thing out. Another thing that you can do and may work a little better is to create your own six meter uh, dipole. Again, it's only 10 feet. And look at this. What is, remember the optimum height for a dipole is a half wave. It gives a nice simple pattern, single lobe, okay, without splitting energy between the two lobes. And that distance is one half wavelength, okay? So a half wavelength on six meters is three meters, which is approximately equal to 10 feet. Okay, so if you just have a couple trees here and you've got a 10 foot long dipole, it only has to be 10 feet high. Now that may seem weird. How can an antenna like that get out? Well, I will tell you it will get out as well on six meters as a 66 foot long 40 meter dipole, 66 feet high will get out on 40 meters. A dipole is a dipole is a dipole, okay? So if you have this at the optimum height for 40 meters, it's quite high for six meters. And here's what happens to your pattern when you put it way up high. Your sideways pattern, instead of being two nice lobes like this, turns into something more like this. Um, And see, well, there's another one here. Notice these deep nulls. Okay, 
those deep nulls in there. If the ionosphere is sending you a signal in here, you won't pick it up. If the other station needs an ionospheric signal sent at this angle, you won't pick it up. They won't hear you. This is why I say if you want to mount that dipole, why not mount it at its optimum height, which is just 10 feet off the ground. And that is so easy to make, so easy to stick between two trees, uh, and so on. And you can still use RG8X co coax, though if it's really QRP, you might want to go to uh, an LMR240 or an RG8X, which will cost you more than the QRP radio. Okay, it's why I'm recommending RG8X, which will still cost you a lot. You can get cable uh, with the ends already on them. Uh, treat those ends carefully because they're crimped by a machine and you don't want to... Uh, uh, ruin it. Uh, uh, tell me, ask me how I know that. Um, so just be gentle with that coax, treat it nicely, and you'll have uh, a good situation. So you can either add that to your existing uh, antenna, uh, recognizing that that's going to change the tuning of all the other bands a little bit. Remember the first rule of antennas is everything affects everything. Okay. Um, and it should work for you in that situation, should work well. Um, and, or you can put up a separate one. The only thing is it will cost you a little coax uh, to get there, okay? So I hope that helps. Let me make sure I've answered all of your question. Um, uh, he asks if he could make the six meter part of full wave antenna. Full wave antennas do not work. Dipoles are half-wave antennas. If you attach two dipoles together, end-to-end -end like that, you get weird results, unpredictable, and generally it's not a 6-meter dipole anymore. It becomes a 12-meter dipole. Okay, very different frequency band, which happens to be a ham band, which is nice, but um, still, it's not a 6-meter antenna and won't tune on six meters. So that's why I'm suggesting just some rope, UV resistant rope. Uh, note also, I want to tell you just a little bit, and we haven't got too far into this, about um, something else that you can uh, do. Uh, and this is the way um, Alpha Delta does their uh, antennas. Here you've got an antenna. Here's your center. Here's the other piece It comes to here. This comes to here. Put little standoff insulators in here, okay? Plastic. And then you've got another one that comes in here. Again, some standoffs and so on. Uh, it doesn't come out that far, does it? And then for each one of these, you can put standoffs on there and just hang them from the original uh, dipole. Put that nice and strong up there and then just hang these off of it and your cable comes off like that. Okay, so that is something else that you can do. All right, um, so I think I've answered all your questions and there you have it. Um, if you have watched this far in this video, I would encourage you to subscribe and click like. Also, you can go to decastler.com support for ways you can support this channel financially. Also, you can go to decastler.com slash giveaway for different ways, different things that we give away. We give away uh, one item every month. For example, uh, this month, April, we will give away a uh, PowerWorks SS30DV power supply, which will power an HF radio very nicely. Uh, certainly will power your mobile um, FM radios or DMR or whatever uh, you like. So there you have it. Until we next meet, 73.